Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you the next video tutorial of online examination system. In this video tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you uh, what logic inside in uh, exam service. So first of all, uh, create a unimplemented method in interface uh, in I exam service. So just add a new interface that is I exam service and in in which uh, uh, i'm creating a single function that is already exist in uh, remaining classes that is the page result according to their view model so exam service is related to the exam view model so page result uh, have a exam view model and uh, you know that uh, the list of uh, exam uh, show with the page number and the page size so just use get all function with the page number and the page size the next method and the next in unimplemented method is used for add async that is you can add a new exam view model into your database i mean to say that you you can uh, add exam uh, uh, data into the database table with uh, so you can uh, use it here exam view model so okay so that is the last video uh, last method is that is get all exams i mean to say that where uh, i want to get all the exams okay uh, the next thing you can do uh, that is exam service that is uh, implement that interface in inside in the class that is exam service so you can use public class exam service and uh, that class uh, inherited from i exam service and i exam service actually we have uh, some methods uh, 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 and you can see that uh, exam service is related to the remaining classes so first of all create a um, private variable like i unit of work and i a logger file uh, related to the exam service so I unit of work is actually used in the several classes so because the i unit of work used for uh, getting uh, generic repository and access generic repository so use it here uh, and i logger file is used for uh, generating log error messages so that's that is a similar thing between the exam service and the group services so just copy and paste from the group services uh, methods and add async method is also uh, also similar with the group services so uh, instead of uh, in place of a group services you can add exam view model uh, group view model you can uh, replace with the group view model uh, with the exam view model so exam view model we have a convert view model and in which you can pass the simple parameter value that is exam vm and uh, that value pass in the exams and uh, where uh, you have a group you can change with the exams so async method that is used await group vm just paste it here okay so that is thing uh, okay so the next thing is uh, get all groups so just copy get all groups method and inside in the get all you can just paste it here so the first line is group view model you can use at here exam view model so just copy and paste that is actually exam view model uh, have not a empty constructor so just create it first of all in the exam view model class so just use snippet ctor and create a uh, empty constructor and after that you can use group list info exam list info you just uh, replace the name exam view model exam view model that is the similar thing between the group view model and the exam view model so just replace only then uh, you can say that uh, rename some names skip actually is uh, ex exist in uh, system dot link so just use namespace so just use control dot to resolve namespace okay so model dot group list is actually a detail list 
A detail list is not equals to null. So model we have some exam list actually. It's not a group list. It's a exam list. And group list. It's not a group list. It's a exam list. And okay. Oops. Model O. Oh, a group view model, not a group view model. Exam view model. Okay. And uh, the next thing is exam view model okay so uh, where you have a group view model just replace with the exam view model okay so uh, the next uh, method is used for exam list info so just copy and paste from the group uh, list info just paste it here and change the name where uh, you have a group view model so just replace with the exam view model okay and get all groups just copy and paste in the get all exams so just replace the groups with the exams 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 okay and exams that's pretty cool so uh, the exam services is completed uh, and after that you have to create a question answer uh, series as uh, question answer services so just add a new interface for the QA services i q and a services okay that is the interface for use the question answer service so public interface question answer service and in which uh, we have all, always the three methods is also used so that is this copy and paste in the question answer so just paste it here okay so get all and the page result is also uh, similar but the exam view model replaced with the q and as view model and uh, q and as view model okay and uh, q and as view model and also the q and as view model Also change the exam VM instead of, uh, in place of Q and A VM and uh, in place of exams we we can use Q and AS so get all exams get all Q and AS okay Q and A by exam ID okay so just you can use Q and ASV model and get all question answer by exam id just integer you can pass in as a exam id in the parameter and last uh, method is crea in creating in uh, i question answer service that is is exam attendant if a, a student have uh, attend any exam then according to their exam id and the student id so just you can uh, return a uh, true otherwise return false okay so that is the unimplemented method so just create a class for the for implementations i q and a service and uh, the similar thing between uh, group exam and the question answer that is the uh, make a variable private variable i root of work so i unit of work and the Q and A service you can use I logger with the Q and A service okay so I logger uh, existing in Microsoft uh, namespace so just I logger and the Q and A service I logger and create a constructor uh, with the I unit of work and e in the constructor you can initialize that I unit of work and I logger file uh, and after that just copy and paste uh, the add async get all methods uh, logics okay uh, so uh, try and uh, in the catch blocks and just replace with the exam with the QNES you know object group is QNAVM that is QNAVM dot convert view model that is in which you can pass q and avm and i unit of uh, unit of work dot repository just pass in, in 
in place of exams you can pass q and as and object group is similar okay and q and a vm is written okay so that's a clear between the add async method and get all method just copy and paste in the get all so just copy first of all entire logics and paste inside the method paste result so in so uh, exam view model you can use q and as view model and q and as view model just you can use uh, create a constructor empty constructor inside the q and as view model okay so in instead of uh, in place of exam view model you can use q and as view model in place of exams you can use q and as the skip is resolve namespace and exams is replaced with the q and as exam list info just create a new method and detail list so just model dot exam uh, sorry q and as list so in, in, in which you can pass it and uh, q and page result with the q and as view model and uh, in which you can pass q and as list so the uh, simple thing you can do uh, in the get all method that is just copy and paste so uh, in the exam list info you have to create just just copy that line and paste in the q and as okay so in the exam view model we have to use q and as view model okay so in the get all question answer by exam so the next method is get all uh, q and a in by uh, you get the question answer by exam exam id so just uh, copy get all exams and paste it here so that is a simple thing you can do it here that is uh, variable q and as by id so unit of work is similar thing and exam replaced with the q and as but and dot get all where you have exam id so just you can use dot where just after the get all because you want to get only single record at a time so just you can use where extends to x dot exam id is double equals to exam id okay so dot first or default you can add and but uh, here we have a written and that method written uh, inside in which you can pass a list info and exam list info just replace with the name uh, list info only so just change the name exam and change the name list info so that is the q and a list uh, in which you can pass the q and a list or do two list and generic repository list of info and in which you can method that is uh, list of q and as list and that is um, uh, which is already created in uh, method that is list info and the last method is uh, is exam attendant that is that is written the boolean value so where q and record and uh, q and just i want to get the q and a record i mean to say that question answer record so you know to work dot generic repository and uh, in which you can pass exam results and uh, get all okay dot to list by using this you can get uh, all the uh, question answer results q and es list i mean to say that so uh, dot first or default and after that we have a in which you can pass the exam id and uh, the student id so x tends to exam id is double equals to exam id and x tends to ex uh, student id is similar to the student id so return the q and a record is null uh, is double uh, is double equals to null then return false otherwise return true if it is q and a record is null then return false otherwise return true okay and uh, in the catch function you can 
यूज आई लोगर मैसेज टू जनरेट ए लोगर विद द मैसेज सो लोगर ई एक्स डॉट मैसेज एंड रिटर्न फॉल्स ई एक्स डॉट मैसेज एंड फॉल्स ओके सो थैंक यू गाइज फॉर वॉचिंग दिस